here in the studio, Mark and Daryl joining us. You don't have to be in Munich to celebrate Oktoberfest. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you for the invite. Yeah, it's great to come here and talk about the culture of Germany. Absolutely. It's so tell us, I guess, the, <clears throat> the origins of Oktoberfest and, and where it really comes from. Oh, okay. Um, Oktoberfest actually started in 1810 wow. in Bavaria, Germany. Uh, a prince got uh, married and they had a huge celebration in 1810 and the celebration was such a success that they spread it out to more days. It was just on one day and they said, let's do this every year. And that's why a lot of questions, a lot of people will say, why is Oktoberfest in September? Yeah. Uh, because they, they, it was actually in October was the wedding, but then they went two weeks earlier to take advantage of the warmer weather. So right. today in Munich, uh, it's the end of September through October. Yeah, well, speaking of great weather, there there definitely is Beautiful. that this weekend. So that's definitely a big plus. Tell us how you got involved with the uh, with um, the German Society of Rockford and, and uh, what it takes to put on this event. So for me, um, my parents were members of the German Society of Rockford, and I'm you know second generation taking on that role, mm -hmm. responsibility to pass on that culture and continue to enjoy family yeah it's all about the family being absolutely. together having spending time with daryl you know is family absolutely and passing down some of the traditions i'm assuming what are some of those traditions for Oktoberfest? i know one of the things most people know of course a lot of drinking right well there will be beer there will be beer yes and uh so there will be a lot of drinking but like marcus said it's a family friendly yeah. event and it's tomorrow by the way so come anytime tomorrow from noon all the way to midnight we're, we're going to yep. go through some bands i hope and yes. talk about that yes but some of the traditions that we'll have mark you want to hit on so we got uh of course german dancing mm -hmm. we'll have the ceremonial tapping of the uh the beer keg okay. by mayor jury of loves park yeah um we're also going to have our miss Oktoberfest. okay you know crowning and then, of course, you know, for the, you know, for those young individuals who think they're strong at the Stein holding contest, the Stein, of, and that's of beer. where you have a full uh, is pitcher of beer, right? And you have to hold it out for as long as yep. possible. A, a liter of beer, and you have to hold it straight out. A, for as a long full as possible. liter of beer, uh, guys. Thank you so much. So, tell us about the the outfits where they kind of originate from as well. Um, well, actually, the, the the nice thing is that the hats. We'll start with the hats a little bit. I have a different version of a hat. My my hat actually has what's called a gumspot, which is the beard of a goat, okay. and Mark has a eagle feather on the top, so neither the neither the goat or the eagle are injured and when they're taken from. So it's a lot of dealing with nature, and we can't talk about everything that we have on here. Yeah. But the leather, because it's it was used when we were working, and leather lasts forever. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, and the socks, I don't know if you want to pan down there, and because it keeps you from cramping. Oh, so the, it's the very calves important. Are covered. Gotta yep. stay hydrated. Well, guys, thank. Thank you yep. so much for being with us. That event coming up here this weekend. Get those details for you on our website as well.